Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Casual Comic Collector. Um, today I'm just going to run through uh, the oversized hardback complete series collection of Luther Strode. Um, this is written by Justin Jordan and illustrated by Trad Moore. Um, just have a quick look at the book itself first. So that's the front, there's the spine, and that's the back of the book. Um, so this collection includes the three Luther Strode uh, storylines, which are the Strange Talent of Luther Strode, um, issues one through six, the Legend of Luther Strode one through six, and the Legacy of Luther Strode one through six. Um, like I said, it's, it's published by Image Comics and cover price of forty nine ninety nine US dollars. So this book, um, was a pretty easy read. Um, it was quite fun, quite entertaining, but it was also quite a violent story. Um, in fact, it was extremely bloody, and I would go as far as to say that it was actually ultra-violent. Um, the basic premise is that a skinny nerd, um, I guess you could describe him that way, um, who gets bullied at school, um, uses a bodybuilding pamphlet called the Hercules Method to get ultra buff very quickly. Um, and he uses it to fight back. I guess initially he uses it to fight back against the bullies who pick on him. Um, but eventually he uses his powers and his, uh, well, super strength to fight, well, fight evil, basically. And I suppose that summarizes it. And he goes through and the entire book um, punching and smashing and killing his way through various bad guys. Um, and as you will see, when we flip through the pages, it can get extremely, extremely bloody. Um, in fact, right from page two and three, there you go. Um, so right at the start of the book, you can already see that that's what what's in store when you read through this. Um, I guess this is where that the book kind of um, is divisive. Either you love this sort of thing or you don't. Um, I do enjoy it. I do think it's quite entertaining to read this sort of story occasionally. Um, but like I said, it's not a very challenging read. It's basically, um, yeah, one long fight through the entire, uh, through the entire book. Um, which is kind of fun. Um, the art itself is pretty good. It, th the style of, of the art definitely suits the story. Um, but yeah, let's have a look through and you'll get a sense of what I'm talking about. Um, and as always, when we flip through these books, um, I'll try not to give too much of the story away, but apologies if there are a few spoilers um, as I flip through the pages. And I think as the story goes on, he goes from, the main character goes from just being buff and strong to actually developing superhuman powers. Um, and I think he encounters other people who've gone through the same process, but aren't necessarily using their powers for good. Um, so he ends up fighting them because, well... They end up um, clashing as they would. Actually, one of the things I found quite ridiculous is towards the end of the book the way he's drawn is almost 
I mean, obviously, this the style of drawing is is quite. I mean, it's not necessarily a real realistic art style. Like I said, it suits the story, but in the end, it's almost all it is is just the character is just pure muscle. It's almost. I mean, there you go. This is what it looks like at the end. It's it's almost too much, but like I said, it it does work, but it does look a little bit ridiculous. Um, and actually, well, that was pretty much the whole story. At the end, you've got a few extras in terms of, well, you see, variant covers, posters, and illustrations. And a fair amount of extras. Interesting, you know, sort of promotional materials um, when, the com uh, when the comic was doing its run. Sort of sketches as well. concept art. So actually a decent amount of extras and content at the back. Um, and actually this was also pretty interesting as well, a bit, a bit of um, communication that was uh, that happened between the the author and the artist when they first introduced each other and uh, a script of one of the um, one of the uh, issues as well as by, uh, some additional art by by different artists. So, all in all, a decent amount of content as well. Um, so, it's a, I mean, it's a pretty big book. It is a complete series of the whole, of the whole Luther Strode story. So, it is, um, it is a nice little set. Um, I did enjoy the book in the end. Um, like I said, it's not, it's not a very challenging story, but it is quite entertaining. Um, I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, please leave your comments um, at the bottom, um, let me know whether you enjoyed the story, whether you thought it was actually too ridiculous, whether it was just not not for you. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.